The city of Albuquerque is now asking the state for millions to help ease traffic in northwest Albuquerque. It's part of the city's plan to expand part of Paseo del Norte from two to four lanes. Here is News 13's Jackie Kent. Dean, today's city councilor Cynthia Borrego told a legislative subcommittee this project is needed to support the growth on the west side. Emergency vehicles can't even get around the traffic that's standing still. Um, so these rush hour delays are, are causing not just congestion problems, but they're causing public safety issues. $23 million would expand Paseo del Norte to two lanes in each direction for 1.4 miles leading up to Rainbow. Conceptual design shows it would include a bike lane on both sides and outer trails for pedestrians. Today, the subcommittee chair responded that Albuquerque could be in competition with Southeast New Mexico for funding because that's where the money from the oil and gas boom is coming from. But Borrego insists it would be better <coughs> utilized in her district where many people from that part of the state move for school or work. We shouldn't consider this competition. We should consider it uh, a growing metropolis that will offer benefits to their kids and their grandkids. Just this week, Borrego also upped the project cost estimate by $2 million. She says to make up for inflation and to help acquire the right-of-way land. The city says another option to help pay for this project is Albuquerque's quarter-cent gross receipts tax, which goes to transportation projects. That tax is up for renewal this year. Dean, back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. If the state gets that state funding, officials say they can break ground by spring of 2021 and have it finished by the middle of the following year. A minimum